Welcome back to GD's to our brand new episode of Hyperlight Drifter and I wanted to let you know that today I saw a dog, a really big dog. To be specific, it was a really big brown dog. Well, it wasn't a big brown dog. It turns out as it got closer, it's actually just a really rusted out wheelbarrow. A really rusted out brown wheelbarrow, but I thought it was a big brown dog. Now, how does that relate to today's video? Well, that's today because today we're going to be taking on the South. Not like the Christian built kind of South and not like the a little bit too racist kind of South looking at you, America, but like the you get a little bit too drunk with your sister at a family reunion kind of fun South. Am I right? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at the big dog of the south. That's right, we had to clear out all of these different areas. We cleared out the north side, we cleared out the east side, we cleared out the west side. We got three of these cardinal directions. Now, I don't know anything about birds nor cardinals, but I do know that we need to go down south because we need to clear out all three of those sections in order to actually open up this final area. Now, it's looking very open and wide and lots of different kind of, I mean, it looks very easy, but I have obviously been proven wrong so many times so far in this game, and I'm excited to see exactly what it has in store for us. But before we do anything like that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the upgrades here in town. We have a lot of these gold coins still kind of left over in our inventory, and I honestly, I've been looking at some of these upgrades. It's going to cost three coins for either this one or this one. There is a dash strike ability, which now some of you may know. Now, this far into the series, and this is like what, episode six, seven, something of the sort, that I really love the dash strike simply because my mind is too wired towards, uh, what was the game called? Hades, which I think Hades 2 is supposed to be coming out sometime uh, later this year, question mark, not entirely certain. But you know what? For my own survival purposes, I think it'd be better if I go ahead and get this new dash ability where it seems as though that you can kind of dash through projectiles and it'll protect you a little bit. So as you dash around, it'll give you a little bit of a protective barrier so you don't necessarily take as much damage as you kind of, you know, well, dash around. So we're going to spend three on trying to get this upgrade right here. Not trying to. We will spend three on getting this upgrade. Fantastic. So now we should be doing a little bit better and maybe not taking so much damage as we kind of move around here. So let's go ahead and test this out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's there. D did we purchase it? D did we purchase it? I don't hang on a second. Did I purchase it? It's there. Uh-huh. E activate. It says we just got to use space. It, it should just kind of automatically do this thing. So maybe as we kind of take damage, we'll see that little diamond effect pop up. I was half expecting it to kind of pop up here. Now, is this supposed to be like a race or something of the sort? I'm not. I, I, there's like a number down below there's a one and like it looks like a course of some sort okay i just it's three now wait one two three okay uh-huh uh i don't really know what any of these numbers mean but oh god oh god oh god oh god i can keep on going <laughs> i have no idea what that's all about hang on hang on so i can just keep on going What's this? I, I, I feel like the keyboard is just coming right through the microphone. It is definitely smashing. You hear that space bar? You like that? Is that good audio quality for you? Leave a like down below if you enjoy it. Leave a comment on how much you enjoy that space bar sound. Ah, oh, pleasure to the ears. But you know what? Enough goofing around. Enough of the silly billing all around. Quit being a goofy goober. Quit being an absolute disappointment to my parents. And we'll just keep on going on down south. Which, actually, now that I think about it, my parents did move down south, huh? I'm gonna have to be careful on those family reunions. It's a good thing I don't have a sister. I do got a brother. Anyway, moving away from that topic. Um, <laughs> moving away from that topic. Uh, <laughs> look, we've gone through the south side a little bit, at least the starting area first a couple of times. And look, right there, that is what we've been waiting for. See all those little funny little house symbols down there, or rather their temple symbols? That is what we've been waiting for to be cleared out. So let's go take a look and see what happens. I am excited because honestly, I... Oh, hello there, Anubis. Doggo. Dog. Hey, it's all coming back together. Dog. I saw a dog. <laughs> I saw a dog. <laughs> I mean, look, dogs, dogs are good. Oh, I didn't even know that this was going to be a path. And suddenly I'm downstairs. And in order to open this up, we need to clear out the south side first. Look, I see all these explosions. Can I throw a grenade over it? No, I cannot. Oh, God. Well, it did blow up, <laughs> but I can't seem to get through this. We actually have to clear out this side first before we're actually to go, able to go take a look at it. Okay. Noted. We might remember to come back here. God knows I, uh, I talk very fast and I do things very fast. So it's not always easy for me to remember these things. And, um, wait, aren't you our knight friend, our, our, our boy, our pal that's been kind of saving us entire time. Oh, my dear man, your armor is looking not so well and you are coughing up quite a bit of blood. Um, how's your day going? Uh-huh. Is, is is that it? 
he found a dead body in a chest or is that a bed i can't quite tell the pixel graphics i think he found someone dead in a bed it's definitely dead in a bed he laid down some flowers very nice and sweet of him and then he found the anubis trying to get the anubusi um <clears throat> i i regret nothing um <laughs> So his maybe his wife died and then the dog came to him. Excuse me? It, it, are, did you just die on me? Hang on, it's warp home to change gear to change gear. Warp home to change. Hang on a second. Warp home to change gear. Oh, we got to take a look at this before we go any further. What do you mean warp home to change gear? So I'm gonna go ahead and warp home and then my gear is going to change? Question mark. I think our night friend is that our night friend god there are lots of questions he looks very much so like our little night friend um we need to teleport home to go change our gear let's go take a look and see what that exactly means i mean i think this is kind of our house in a way this is where we woke up question mark um it, it, where do i this looks like a map of sorts uh-huh right don't really know what any of that means besides i think that's just telling us that we can get stuff that was just kind of like the indicator oh okay here we go and then can i what it what are these doing i'm not necessarily seeing anything change on my character they both i'm just kind of throwing out this weird little this little purple thing on the ground can i just throw out a whole bunch of these <laughs> just keep on throwing them out um well it originally had us on this cape so i guess we're gonna go to this cape Okay, I see it. The colors are slightly different. Slightly different. They're... It, it's... I It's something different. Uh, with, you know, I'm changing a lot nowadays. Better to change my style. Before, I used to have three patterns of different colors of darker colors. Now, I have three patterns of lighter colors. Aren't I just looking swell? All right, well, let's get on back down there. <laughs> and here we are right on back down towards the south side, which I suppose the theme is looking very much so like it's kind of fall. Very... I mean, that could be some very strong wordage. Like, uh, all the trees look like they're in fall, right? So maybe uh, things are falling. It is the fall of the game, fall of the titans. I mean, uh, what do I know? I'm kind of stretching here. Oh, there, strange man. Okay, a cloaked figure came to you. And that was that. Oh, okay, right. It's telling us exactly where the boss is. Right around the corner, it seems. It looks like I can just kind of just walk around and start the fight already well i mean obviously before we get anywhere near that let's go ahead and take a look at the surrounding area now it looks like there's only one no i never mind i saw multiple there's one core off to the left and there's two cores down below and there's one core off to the right right okay so if it is anything like prior attempts okay i cannot get up towards that top side definitely need to get around somewhere so i can't necessarily get to that one easy not seeing an elevator anywhere so if it's anything like my prior attempts, you are definitely going to know that I'm very bad at, at finding things. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Am I supposed to hurt you? Am I supposed to do something with you? Or am I supposed to like drag you around somewhere? Can I hurt you? No, you're just a little bit of a robot. Okay, fine. Wait, what if I like push him towards the... No, just get back over there. Get back over there. I want to see if he like goes towards like the doorway. If it like somehow like opens up. Slash at you? No? Okay, well, I give up on that endeavor. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's really amounting to anything. But it's very much so like a desert as well. So here is one elevator. Seeing lots of skeletons around of rain, but lots of sand. And getting some conflicting emotions about the surrounding area. So it's fall, but it's a desert, but there's rain, and there's a lot of skeletons, and there's robots. I mean, you throw all those together, you got yourself a party. What a guy is that? <laughs> you got yourself a real party. Let's go see where this elevator is bringing us. Really trying to explore the south side. We are getting a little bit closer towards the quote unquote finish of the game. I mean, I say quote unquote because obviously I have no idea what's in store for us. I don't know what we need to be searching for. We need one, just one little square to get through that door. Okay, that's not too bad. Or rather, we might have to come through the opposite side to get access to it. Our health bar is available now. Okay, he shoots projectiles. Can I like dash through this now? yes i can that is a good test and we still got spiders okay but i can now dash through those kind of projectiles but i don't know if that is permanent is there like a cooldown to that is there something i should be aware of in terms of like when it's not going to be applic applicable to dashing through it because otherwise it just means that i can essentially just always dash through projectiles which seems a little bit oh god oh god oh god okay let me back up grenade 
Okay, and there is there is quite a few. Luckily, they can all get hit with a single strike. My God, getting surrounded here, gangbanged by all the spiders. Uh, my choice of words today are very questionable, but I still regret nothing because it's making for some great commentary and some weird offhanded comments because, I mean, isn't that what content is really all about? Just listening to the old man just... Oh, another door of keys. I don't know what these keys are. And my phone goes off because I'm a good YouTuber. Hang on just a second while I go ahead and snap this thing in half. How's your guys' day going? Going great? Going do doing good? Someone's messaging me on Discord. I hope you guys are having a grand old day. We've have, we've been having some great weather lately, and now suddenly it's cold outside. And oh god, I really hate this phone. This thing is like a it's like a $150 smartphone. I know, right? A smartphone for $150, the Galaxy A220. It is a piece of crap. But you know what? It's cheap and it works. Mostly because, I, it's, I don't know, I mean, I have the money to buy one. I'm not a rich man, but I could get a new one. i just kind of putting it off for now. I really should. What is your guys' favorite phone? I swear to God, if any of you say Apple, your comments getting deleted. <laughs> I mean, look, I used to be a Verizon technician or a Verizon phone technician. I used to be one of those. I need to heal up. I used to be one of those people over the, like, text chat box that would you know communicate with you if you were to chat into verizon over the chat box and like you have a problem with your phone i would be like one of those people who would you know of course walk you through the steps and kind of troubleshooting and stuff like that to go ahead and try to fix it now this all extremely stems from i mean this is basically what i'm trying to say is <laughs> is that this is primarily the reason why i hate iphones so much because as a person who is in charge of trying to fix these things I guarantee you, iPhones are impossible to fix. The only thing that you can do to fix an iPhone is essentially just factory reset it. You know, you want to upload your stuff to the cloud and nine out of 10 times, people are like, well, I don't have the storage room on the cloud. Okay, let's upgrade your plan. What do you think I gotta spend money just to, up, just to upload my stuff to my phone or for my phone just so you can fix it? It's like, yes, you do. Unless you want to lose everything off your phone, you're gonna have to upload it to the cloud. Well, can I like maybe like upload it to like iTunes? Do you have a computer? no well then you're gonna upgrade your cloud so that's the whole conversation can i jump over here this doesn't appear to be anything so that was the whole conversation then you got to sit there and wait for them to upload everything off their phone and all this is basically saying is that the only thing that you could do to fix an iphone if you're having software issues flickering issues your screen is being weird you know nothing physical per se is like if something software wise is being messed up on your phone settings are weird it's acting slow all that fun stuff the only thing you can do is just factory reset it's like there are not very many options you can do to try to go ahead and fix it maybe update it if it hasn't already updated but god knows that iphones typically actually slow down their phones when you update them because they like to make their old phones obsolete so that you can go buy their new one so yeah, what it, what it is that I'm trying to say is that the only thing you can do to fix an iPhone is just factory reset it, which people hate because you got to upload it and it, you need to spend all that time doing it just for you to go be like, oh, is it fixed now? No, sorry, uh, it's uh, it's broken. Well, do I have a warranty? No, you bought this like a year ago. You don't have a warranty. So I just got to buy a new phone. Yes, congratulations. Your $1,100 phone that you just bought last year surprisingly has stopped working because Apple probably did something to go ahead and make it break, which typically, I, I kid you not, Oh, come on. I was I used my med kit in time. <laughs> I kid you not. This always happened about every single Apple update. Every time there was a software update to any of their phones, suddenly they would all start having issues. Many, many issues all the way from, again, the screen flickering, things not working right, being slow. And if the, if the factory reset did not work, you just have to buy a new phone. That's how I know it is bogus. That's how you know that they're just scamming you out of money consistently. And it's, it's honestly sad. It's upsetting. But you know what? When it comes to an Android phone, a Galaxy phone, uh, the, any of these other, a Windows phone, or you know, any of the Microsoft phone, whatever they call them, really, nine, most, I, I have to stop using the 9 out of 10, okay? Most of the time, you have like developer options. You can go in and affect codes. You can go ahead and get into like an extra like subset menu. You can go ahead and change the software around. You can go ahead and actually do extra updates. You can go ahead and connect to different networks and stuff like that. You just had a lot more options. I mean, it's been a few years since I've done anything like that. So it's a little hard to remember the exact steps taken to go ahead and quote unquote fix things. But I just remember you had so many more options for fixing anything that was not an iPhone, basically. And it, it's just, it's always just so frustrating too, because a Galaxy phone typically was only maybe like $800, $700, and something a little bit cheaper than your iPhones. And you had many more options to fix it. And then an iPhone be like, oh, hey, you got like this $1,100, $1,300 phone, even nowadays, even more expensive of a phone that you 
can't do anything to fix it sorry so it's just all one giant scam so i cannot stand iphones for basically that premise of the fact that most of the time when we had a customer come in and their phone wasn't working we already just kind of instinctually knew that sorry you're gonna have to go spend another thousand dollars to get a new device but this just worked last year yep welcome to apple and your stupid app your stupid apple you know environment your, your ecosystem you know yeah all the apps and stuff that work in uh, basically all other devices all other computers all other programs everything else that works on other devices in general in electronics doesn't work on an iphone because they lock away their software and coding everything to be within their own apple ecos really what does he do two damage and he hit me through the wall okay this is going to be a real struggle look i understand that we are you know basically in the brand new area that oh, come on there's a railing <laughs> you can't tell me that's a railing come on now game all right let's just go ahead and dodge this stuff get a little bit of my ammo back get around this corner let's get on back over there dodge 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 move on down yeah i i will always oh wait no that was the new area never mind go on back through i i'm just blind yeah, so I'm always going to be a strong advocate for anything that is not Apple because I just hate the whole Apple ecosystem in general. Look, plus, they charge other app developers like an extra exorbitant fees for even using their systems and stuff like that. It's it's honestly just a giant scam consistently. And none of the phones are even all that, you know, quote unquote, revolutionary. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Jesus. Okay, use a med kit. My God. The, the, you know that is the one thing that is a little bit frustrating about this game is that sometimes when you get knocked down you know you can't stand back up immediately if you're knocked down you are knocked down you're just gonna keep on getting hit <laughs> yeah it's just there is no reason to be invested into it be like oh we have invested in, we now have wireless charging be like okay android did that like four years ago we've gotten rid of the uh, we've gotten rid of the headphone jack like okay we've already had that bluetooth capability and all that fun stuff like years ago like we've added a new feature and every single time that we added a new future it is always just like yeah but we already did that like it why are you acting like it's a revolutionary technology it puts every single iphone one right out it got, oh god what the hell um i'm just gonna go ahead and hide oh, it breaks it breaks and dodge, dodge okay yeah, i can dodge through it yes i can yes i can keep my distance they are also firing from the center there are little bots that are firing at me at the same time go ahead and keep on launch keep my distance Oh, he is actually a mini boss. Uh, he has a health bar down there at the very bottom. Uh, somehow I'm doing better at dodging this than I do. Okay, I can take out the little robots. I can take out the little robots, right? Come on, I, I broke one of them. Okay, I'm just gonna dash through a lot of them. Get out of here, get out of here. Heal up, use the med kit. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, um, Do I always dash through projectiles? It kind of seems like it. You wanna get rid of those little robots, do some more damage to them, do some good strikes on them. Yes, 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 yes okay we are we still have two health are there extra med kits in this room not really no use med kit there are no extra med kits in this room that i'm seeing nothing i can go ahead and like stock stockpile on top of myself come on i just want to get rid of these projectile throwers please okay we're down to just two of them i need to heal 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 i don't have any med kits okay a concern for certain um get rid of you guys please yes oh boy that was close oh my god i that was really close please don't tell me that they're all gonna be like that i really don't want them to all be like that i did like that wasn't like the actual boss right that was just like a mini boss because that was basically just as hard as some of the other bosses we are up to three of those gold coins now so we could have an option to go buy some more med kits you know kind of a med kit storage slot in the future um but did that did that count i mean hang on let's look at the map here uh no that did not count so was that like a fake one then i can't like reactivate this yeah okay so the real one must be like through this doorway then right because there is remember if there is that one doorway back where we passed by earlier where we only needed a single core to open up so they might just kind of lead right into one another there we go now we have our official first kind of little quadrant there there we go yeah perfect exactly what we need activate this looks kind of like a draw bridge of some sorts nice and some med kits exactly hello boys are you eyeballs or are you eye ovals i don't mean to discriminate there's a difference between between balls and ovals because balls are a little bit more round and ovals are like i mean they, they can they can still be balls but like they're not as good of a ball you know what i mean 
I mean, you boys look like you're having a great time. You know, I mean, you guys are. Hey, keep an eye out. <laughs> you know, just, I'm gonna keep looking out for you. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I, I, I'll be here all week, <laughs> except Sundays. I'll be here all week. <laughs> this is why you come to the chatter, right? Prime content right there. Okay, we are up high above. I'm hesitant to drop down anywhere because that seems like it's gonna kind of just drop us into the next area and we do it regardless. Okay, moving along. I may as well use a med kit right now. We only have a single health. Yeah, there we go. That is definitely a path right there. Um, it, Did you just solid snake style hide underneath the box? First of all, that is adorable. Secondly, I was about a half a second away from throwing a grenade towards all of you boys. What do you got to say, lizard man? Uh-huh, a whole bunch of your lizard family came across this looking weird square thing. Then you came across the things in the vats, and why are you eating the goo there, lizard man in the bottom left? It's don't eat the goo. And then they got mad at you. Surprise, surprise, and now you're hiding out here. Okay, I mean, you know, I appreciate the story. I'm not always necessarily certain what these stories really, like, pertain towards the main storyline besides that they're just kind of extra things to find along the way i mean it's adorable i like them i mean i like the lizard boys they seem nice you know i'm sure i can get to get to know them so we need four or we might need all eight for that one it looks like oh boy i never did find any of the extra cores up towards this left side scroll on back over here i i kid you not after yesterday when i got done recording and editing i went back into the game and I was gonna do a little bit of like, okay, let's explore around, see if I can find the extra cores. Maybe I can, maybe when I start the next episode, we can kind of go find them together and stuff like that. I spent about a two extra hours afterwards, just kind of, you know, before I went to bed, just kind of sitting there relaxing, just exploring around. I didn't find a single extra core. I have no idea how to get to that one at the north side. I looked up some information. Supposedly there was like seven in this area. So there's like two more, like one extra one that's not showing on the map. and. I have no idea how to get to that thing. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried again. And I still just couldn't find the stupid path to go find the core. I don't know where it is. I have tried so hard. So if you guys somehow know where to find the rest of these cores, then by all means, leave a comment down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And as well, you will also be helping extend the content here on the channel as well, because I could do an extra episode where we go find all these things. They apparently seem to be very important to the story of the game. However, I have no idea how to find any of them. I have tried so hard. I have gone down so many paths and I have gotten nothing as well as I have no idea what these keys are either. We have these keys up in the very top right of the map here or rather on top right of the screen where it kind of has that key symbol and I have nothing there. I have no idea. You know, I've been kind of putting the question out there. I understand the channel is small, so not a lot of people have responded or rather anyone has responded. So I, and I definitely don't want to go cheat and just go, you know, just look up the information. Like where are all the keys located? Let me just go find exactly where they are. It just seems disingenuous. You know, I feel like if it is something that is integrated into the game, it should be a type of system of which where I can find it very easily and freely something that is very explained in the game you know something where i should be able to visually tell that it is there and so far from my experience i have not been able to find a single instance of any of these around here i have i, I don't know i've never found a key and i don't know where to find them but you know hey if you guys are seeing this episode now and you guys do have an idea of where to find them or what they look like feel free to leave a comment down below it would be greatly appreciated so i can go ahead and keep a better eye out for them for maybe when we go ahead and just jog when we go ahead and continue the game stuff like that we did just bypass another elevator but kind of taking a look around here not a whole lot going on it definitely is a big open area so it's a little bit easier to explore and move around to the different situations and areas but I imagine this is probably going to lead us directly to another core. If I remember correctly, there was that one area that required one core to open up. I was kind of looking for that, but I got lost along the way trying to find it again. I didn't quite see it around, but I'm sure we can go take a look after we go ahead and find where this core is down here. Okay, a dodge across. Go ahead up this other side of the path. Keep on moving around. Dodge all your bullets. They always seem to fire where I am and not where I'm going, so that's good. Is this important? That doesn't appear to be anything slashing on it. No, no. Okay, fair enough. Just kind of some extra. So, oh, you know, these little orc boys, they are all over the place. These little goblins in every single territory, we have found those goblins. I 
don't know what their whole story is but uh, around dodge dodge time it okay oh uh, you tried a little trap there what you what's what's the purpose of that you're gonna pop up and try to fire in half a second with that one angle of attack whoever designed this place definitely needs to know about the wars or tung su and, and they need to go read that book so goblin boy oh, what do you mean that missed i was aiming right on top of them come on now and get him yeah and one last shot perfect I mean, since we seem to get the, the the ammo back pretty easily in general, just kind of by carelessly moving around their territory, it's not necessarily too hard to find it. So we may as well just go ahead and use it as much as we possibly can. You, yeah, I knew it. You were not a giant gumball sitting on the ground. You were a little orc boy or goblin boy. You're you're one of the two. You you, they're both the same, right? Orcs and goblins are the same thing. They're not that much different. I think orcs are just a little bit bigger. Well, they're much bigger compared to goblins but they're both just disgusting vile creatures that live in the dirt you know oh come on so that's what i'm talking about their attack patterns change a lot because they look like he's about to dash forward and then at the last second he goes right towards me he's like oh come on now who is he gonna yep he does blow it up for me and i actually need to wait for that fire to dissipate a little bit nice get another gold coin here i know that they're not actually called gold coins but i don't know what it is that they are called you know, for a game that has absolutely no text on screen, no dialogue to kind of, you know, read, I kind of just have to make up names for everything. You know, for a world that has no information to give me, dodge around, I'm going to throw a grenade. Please blow up several of them, did lots of damage. I'm going to throw another grenade. Yes, 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 yes. I need to heal. There is a lot. Come on, I was in the middle of healing. How can you strike me? That is unfair. Keep my distance. And they're spawning? They're spawning out of thin air. I knew it. I knew it. There's magic afoot. Black magic. I, I I knew it. It's the worst kind of magic. Wait, that sounds that sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> that, that does not sound good. Please don't get me canceled. I'm not even big yet, and I'm gonna get canceled before I even hit like 20,000 subscribers. I'm only a 10. Although, although, I mean, I know like the whole gimmick is that if you want to get a lot of like you know subscribers and attention towards a channel, you just gotta do something super controversial. Then suddenly everybody likes you or not likes you, but you get all this attention to your channel. And, oh my god, look at this guy! Now everyone's talking about look at this bad thing that they did, which you know just kind of leads into more fame. Ironic. So maybe I should just go say something super offhanded and against TOS, and suddenly everybody's gonna be paying attention. I mean, that's I'm not gonna do that. That is not my style. I there have been some of those IRL like real life streamers, and oh, I cannot believe this. I don't remember his name. Was it Aiden Ross? Maybe it's not Aiden Ross, but there's another like live, like a real life streamer that always goes around. He was over in Israel. He was like hitting on a girl, be like, you know, hey girl, change your world, change your world, girl, hey girl, come over here. And then like she went and got like the other male police officers and they basically just they arrested him on the spot you know they carried him away like a rag doll which is funny but then the best part is it was like a week later he found out that he got permanently banned oh that's right he's not even on twitch he was on kick he got permanently banned from the plat oh come on he got permanently banned from the platform and immediately he lets out a post saying i am a changed man please twitch let me back on unban me twitch kick just ban me but twitch let me back i'm a changed man i won't do any of those things anymore when literally just a week does this does that i just realized does that weapon push me back is that how i'm falling off is does it actually have pushback on it noted was not aware of that but he's like, yeah, I'm a changed man. I won't do anything like that. It's like, brother, you're getting permanently banned for a thing that just happened like a week ago and you haven't made like an apology video or nothing of the sort. He just found out he got permanently banned and it's just like, wait, but wait, I'm a changed man. Like, what do you mean changed? This is like a week ago. You can't be a changed man from a week ago. Like, you know that that's how that they're just completely trolling. I cannot understand those people who try to live off the fame of just being an asshole. You know, like, it's not even just that Israel thing either. It's like where he'd like walking through like women's only trains in Japan or, or, you know, he'd be like just, you know, sticking his hand in somebody's nachos as he walks by like a restaurant sit of people sitting outside and where he just calls somebody a name next time he's being followed by a bunch of dudes and go and they go beat him up or something. And he's just being a menace towards the general public. And I don't understand how people can do that with a, with a clean conscience, right? I mean, obviously like they do it, they think it's all just funny. But then it's not going to be so funny when it turns out that, hey, you have absolutely no real life skills and you just got banned from Twitch and Kick and all these other platforms. Congratulations. You no longer have a platform of which you can go ahead and just be an asshole on. 
and yet the sad thing is that they will probably still manage to find some other platform some other method maybe they'll go like live stream on snapchat or go live stream on like instagram or something of the sort and they'll just go be a jerk on there and then they'll go get banned from there they're gonna go through every single instance and platform how did i die what what killed me he he hadn't even started his attack pattern yet right i mean i i was in the middle of hitting him okay we'll keep on moving through but it's just like they're just gonna find another platform to go be a jerk god oh come on how did i not get on the platform jump up. why am i not making the jump come on now come on game work with me here ah <laughs> it's funny that i'm still at like hour eight of playing this game and i'm still not good at it there are just many things about the movement like i love this game don't get me wrong i i do love it it is a fun game i enjoy the style i enjoy the story i enjoy all the aspects of this game i enjoy the fighting style and all that but it definitely is um it, it is definitely quite different from every other format that it makes it a quite quite a difficult way to go ahead and try to actually move your way through i'm just so used to so many other methods of just like hades being able to dash strike and other abilities like when you get knocked down you, you'll be able to get back up before you hit again or you know these situations of like attack patterns or rather attack animations being able to tell when they're about to attack you and this game is very particular about those formats that it doesn't necessarily leave you a lot of room to go ahead and detect any of those so it is definitely a format of just being sorry bro get good you know i'm not gonna lie of course i just gotta get good but uh towards my oh that is not good that is not good oh god oh god okay okay keep my distance gonna keep oh he can launch projectiles also so can i buddy keep my distance uh do i have a grenade i do have a grenade ow okay he does a lot okay good still managed to get him with that i want to keep my distance the best that i can he does manage to throw his scythe around i i need to be careful I mean, obviously, I don't want to not be careful. I mean, what up? What kind of strategy would that be? I want to strike him a whole. He probably does three damage. So I'm going to go ahead and, or not three. He probably does two damage per strike. He does. He definitely does. So I'm going to go ahead and use that med kit there and heal up. Yep. It just, I'm going to strike him. Just strike him. I'm just going to go balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. Yes. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is there's a reason why this is the final area because it seems like now every single like end of every room has a mini boss which is essentially just as hard as the boss from the east side with that giant frog which is honestly not that difficult at all but all these guys are even stronger than him why am i walk you walk slow next to his body noted am i missing any extra med kits or health potions or anything of the sort around here moving up can i go up close are these like stairs they are not stairs. This is a doorway. Those are not doorways. All right. This is probably going to lead into a core. I'm going to assume. And yep, yep, there we go. You know what they say about assumptions? You're always wrong. And I'm right. I'm assuming that I'm always right. That honestly, I've not heard a different method. If you guys have a different saying of what you have to say about assumptions, then uh, feel free to comment it down below. Get that interaction going. <laughs> I'm like I have fun here. We have fun here. We goof around. We we're, we're a little goofy goober. Oh, hey, we're right back to the eyes. Huh? Long time no see. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I suck. I said I'll be here all week except Sundays. All week. <laughs> all right. See you boys around. Bye. I'm going up on a Wednesday. Going up on a Wednesday. Okay, so now we need to go find that door that we found prior that requires one core to go ahead and open up where was that exactly was that actually down here in this first elevator room it may have been so it wasn't it down here then originally just right off to the left hand side if i if memory serves me well which typically it does not um <laughs> which normally it does not uh so it should yeah there it is there it is i knew it i am a smart man i'm a big brain youtuber i know exactly where everywhere i'm going i can keep spatial awareness grenade uh, double strike okay and, and, and you know i i should remember that i have the ability to go ahead and actually dash through their projectiles but they can also punch me right so you know when the guns don't work you bring out these guns flexes arms yeah these guns <laughs> uh what do i know i can only bench like 170 that's really about it i i can't do much more than that that's like that's like my limit comfortably maybe like 150 i'm not a big strong guy but i'm quote unquote average what is average i don't know well i'm only like 180 i'm a small guy it is what it is i'm average <laughs> big quotes on what is going on um did they just all fall down to their death 
Can I activate it again? Um, activate it again. No, okay. Well, I am here now. This is my life. I'm gonna. Uh, he has a rocket launcher? A homing rocket launcher? Well, that's a new one. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Okay, I don't like where that's going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take you out, please. I don't want you sitting there shooting at me from a distance. That just honestly seems like a rude. Can I go through here? Hello? Excuse me? Excuse um, Excuse me, all? Can I? Oh, we got to go around. You're not gonna explode as soon as I hit you, right? Okay, good. It did not explode as soon as I hit it. Right. Um, grenade. Ooh, I was hoping to get more with that and dodge through that. Dodge his punch. Get a couple more strikes in. He's about to. You're, wait, you're the rocket launcher boy. I don't want. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's not. Let's not danger close that baby right there. That is going to hurt all of us. Not only just physically, but also emotionally, because that's going to make me a little bit upset on the inside. And I don't want that to happen because when I'm upset, you guys are upset. And when you guys are upset, I get more upset. And then I call the police on you. And if that doesn't work, I'll call your mother. That's right. Me and your mother, we've been talking. We are probably going to get a divorce. I know. I know. I'm just saying it's all your fault because you put a lot of stress on the family. We argue a lot about it. You've been talking about college and we just don't have the financial situations of which to do it. So we're going to go ahead and split the family. And yes, it is all because of you. I just want you to be emotionally aware of that situation. So that way you can go ahead and prepare yourself in the future for when you inevitably have to answer for your crimes of being our child or viewer. I don't know, but we're already up to three cores. I don't know where I'm going with any of this conversation. I'm in a special kind of mood today. A little bit of a a little bit of a little bit of a I don't want to use the term goofy goober again but if I could indulge myself in using that term again I'm gonna say I'm a being I'm probably more of a goober than I am being goofy I gotta say I'm an absolute goober I really hope there's not another meaning for that word because I am still regretting nothing but oh hello hello oh my oh this is a path that kind of looked like a like doorway you know we've seen these before they look like some weird like monolithic ancient verbiage but we don't know what any of that really means right a guy always appears the text on the obelisk appears as well but what does that mean what does that do for us like i am dumbfounded there are so many questions that i've asked throughout this series that i have absolutely no answers to and it really makes you wonder how people ever really find out the answer to any of this except just divulging their entire lives into trying to discover everything that there is about this game. So I know that there are other equipments, there are other weapons, there are all these other things you can go ahead and add on to this game that somehow I have vicariously not managed to come across like at all. Ooh, left or up? Left, up, left, up, left, up, left, up, left, up. We'll go left. When nothing is right, will you go left? I mean, forward is typically like up is typically the idea of progression right oh where did you guys all come from you were not all there right behind me before excuse me all you little weird goo mans who who okay oh dodge the rocket tree please yeah that, oh come on not the gravity no my number one weakness not the gravity god who placed that there god damn you <laughs> damn you god how dare you make the physics work like this uh, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna blame the developers. Oh, we gotta activate this again. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna blame the developers because as far as I know, God also made the developers. So you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is God's fault that he added gravity. Even the concept of falling down, that's a problem. Let's just go ahead and erase that from physics, right? We don't really need that in our lives. I mean, what's it ever done for us? gravity i mean is it really that important it's made us really hard to get off the planet it's made like you know the galaxy is super weird it's made like matter and you know protons and neutrons and we don't actually know that there isn't necessarily a we don't really necessarily know the particle for gravity we just know that it's an element in a sense of more or less the fabric of reality is gravity more so than it being a particle of which you can kind of observe gravity is kind of existence itself I could be entirely wrong on that format. I'm typically usually pretty good at space stuff, but no, I, I think I think I'm right about that. Gravity isn't something that you can necessarily measure as a like a proton or a neutron or a neutrino or anything of like or anything of like the Planck scale or anything of like quarks or anything of the sorts. Gravity is kind of space itself folding in on like a fabric more or less. Look, I mean, I don't know if you're trying to get your space or science news from some guy called Digital Dave on the internet playing Hyperlight Drifter in a pixelated format. If you are, you might need to reevaluate a few things in your life, but I do appreciate your uh, your dedication to believe in everything that I say, right? 
you believe in everything that I say, just like how 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> if, you're, if we're going down this rabbit hole, you may as well just believe everything that I say. Um, How do we get over there when I'm over here and that's over there, but I'm here? Can I make this? Ooh, just barely, just barely. Um, There is a door right there ahead of us, but we can probably jump around, see what else we can activate. More paths to activate. Okay, no, I'm not gonna give you the chance to even jump around on me. Get rid of those goblin boys. Get rid of these little, I was once, oh, I was reincarnated as a slime. I think they got a new season. It's, it's, I honestly think I was reincarnated as a slime is a good anime. A lot of people don't like it because it's a classic isekai type of situation of like, oh, I got reincarnated into a video game world or whatever. Okay, this was just North Side, but we can drift on over. Oh God, oh God, no, 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 no. I think it was a good anime because it really, really kind of divulged more into the aspect of actually developing a town and considering like and building up a city and actually helping people out it's not just a one see i really hate it like when animes in general be like oh and then we built a town and then now we have a city and then it goes to the next scene and there's just like hundreds of people there it's like what do you mean like how did that that just happened overnight you just wrote into the manga and then there was a city ah job well done you know that's kind of why i like the slime because it actually kind of goes it's a very slow progression of building up the town, a little bit more of a involved story, a little bit more of the geopolitics of the environment of the world that they're building and stuff like that. It's, um, I just feel it has more detail that you're more used to, that you're not necessarily always used to from your cookie cutter. Uh, there, God, there's so many projectile. Ooh, that you hit me with that one, buddy. Okay. Fair game. Fair game. You finally got a shot and my God, I'm going to take you up before you can get a chance to go ahead and lay off another one um keep my distance we got that being activated move on around god that is still managing to hit me every time ah, hit that does that deactivate you it, it, that did not deactivate you if anything that just made things worse i need to reactivate you because i need to get back up towards this north side oh wait, i deactivated that i was a little bit scared there for a second i'm like am i about to fall to my death i'm glad that there are lots of uh, med kits around here because i am definitely needing them i've been taking a lot of hits we're down to only a single med kit which appears to be a common theme right now uh take out that thing because now opens up this side which means i can hit that what did hitting that do oh okay more paths are opening up um but i can also just eat and move across or i can just dash across i suppose doesn't really matter oh but another core there we go okay so we're up to four cores now. Doesn't that mean that we get another animation? Doesn't that mean that we're about to unlock another memory? Let's stay quiet here for just a moment because I think that is what that means. The door still remains closed. We got to unlock more and more of these memories because that door is still closed. We we, we got kind of skewered off screen there off to the side that, the, you know, the strange goo monster just kind of went ahead and stabbed us straight through the abdomen. And we saw the giant like kind of diamond crystalline structure blowing up in the distance again. We got another vision of that door. So I imagine the more we collect and unlock is more of a better chance for it to open maybe when you finally get all of the cores is when you kind of like walk through the door and get like a true ending to the game not fully certain yeah still questioning a lot of not only my life choices but also the game choices in general like what is going on but back through another door we do have four cores now so not exactly sure where we progress from here huh right uh i don't have any ammo at the moment i do have a single shot with my pistol that I guess hit the side of that wall there and didn't count. Noted. Well, uh, yeah, no, apparently there's just a little bit of an invisible structure there. And fair enough. And move around. Get you. Doesn't really seem to be that many enemies in this area. It seems kind of simplistic as I get blasted with a freaking rocket. Oh god, oh god. Keep my distance. Uh yep. There we go. There we go. Get this goblin out of the way. We have another turret shooting at us. God, those turrets are super annoying. No, you cannot. 
No, you cannot take the tarts out. They are vulnerable. They are indefinite. They are everlasting. They are eternal. The turrets know what's best for you. Listen to the turrets. The turrets shoot 90% of the bullet, all the bullets. That's like 90% more bullet. I'm just trying to quote half life or not half life. Uh, what is it? Uh, portal at this point. <laughs> Joan Jameson. Okay, you know, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and drag them around the corner. Let them come to me. Why am I trying to go to them? Oh, God. Okay, that's right. Because of the turrets. Because of the turrets. I can just go ahead and hit you around the corner. They're coming to me. Good. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's always just barely at the nick of like the last frame that they managed to lay off a weapon on me. I see how it is. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just take you guys out from a distance because I really do not like those goblin boys. They are a nuisance when they are amassed like that. Get several of them out. Go ahead and drag you around. Okay, the turret went down. The turret came back up again. Come on, Indiana Jones. Okay, I need to I need to heal myself right now. Quit running away from me. Thank you. Unlocked. You're not about to be a boss, right? Giant robot man. I really hope you're not about to be a boss because you look concerningly strong. And I don't know how I would handle my life after after that situation. I might just have to go cry in a corner. We are, we definitely need more med kits right now. Uh, we are severely lacking on resources in terms of ammo, grenades, med kits. Apparently also intellect because I am very concerned and confused and feeling dumb right now moving through this territory because every single time I am just feeling absolutely befuddled, absolutely confused, absolutely just lost in this environment. Really loving the backdrop though. That was just kind of like, huh. Please don't get up. Please don't get up. I was just saying this to the other guy. I do not want to fight you. You look concerningly strong, and I don't want to experience that right now. That seems like a problem. Like on a scale of one to problem, you're like, you're 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 up there. You're like Middle Eastern kind of like that's like a Middle East like war type of problem. Like that's that that's a scale of like how concerned I am right now. <laughs> like you are like a World War Three status of how concerned I am of you. I don't want you to stand up. We're gonna keep on moving through these doors. We got two med kits. Full health, full ammo, two grenades, which is funny because I swear to God, just a moment ago I was saying, oh God. Okay, well, hello there, good sir. Uh, you are already moving before I can even move. Uh, huh. Right, okay. Uh, you know, I may as well just play this slowly. I got a few strikes in. He's gonna lay off another couple of these plasma balls. He's gonna launch one at me. Okay, nice, nice, nice. He's gonna charge at me, get a few strikes in. Now, this guy's actually a lot more predictable compared to the other guys. This is, uh, I want to first time this one. This is obviously, oh God. Okay, he's going to break out the floor. I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Okay, you're big and strong. You're big and strong. You don't need to hurt me. Ah! <laughs> I, I, I changed my mind. Fine, you're, you're, you're big and strong. I, I, I respect you and your power. I think I forgot that the weapon also pushes me back. I don't even have a chance to stand up. Ah, uh, I... I don't like that mechanic. I do not like that mechanic. If you are knocked down, you should not be able to get hit several more times. That keeps you even further down. I shouldn't have said anything about maybe getting this on a first try. I shouldn't have said anything. Because I, 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 we definitely had that in the bag and I just completely dropped the ball on that one. I, yeah, yeah, that definitely moves me back by a very fair amount. That actually does quite a bit. You know, I just had this whole pattern like figured out too. And here I am still taking hits. Go ahead and yeah, I can just move out of the way casually too. I don't even have to be concerned. Get a few good strikes in. He's probably about to, yep, yeah, he's about to summon in a few more plasma balls. Time it, time it, time it. Get out of the way. He's going to strike at me. I want to use this instance because he's probably about to activate his ability, right? I want to use this time to hit him as much as I possibly can. Get several strikes in with my weapon. And honestly, this might take him out right here. Uh, use a med kit. Strike him. Yep. Yeah, and there we go. Ooh, second time's a charm, you know? First worst, second the best. Oh, baby. There we go. We have we have the capability to upgrade a lot of things here. If we get back to the main kind of like, like I don't know what you call it, not hallway, the main room, the main area of where like you drop down into and all that stuff where we keep on coming back to, we may as well go back to town, go ahead and get some upgrades, or at least get some med kit upgrades, anything of the sort. And speaking of the devil, there is another med kit. This is where they build all the robots, huh? This is like the automaton factory. Is this all just like pretext to hell divers too? Is that what this is? Well, that is our fifth. We seem to be moving along quite well through all these territories, but I don't know how many more there are. I mean, there should be three more. 
you guys seem to have an infatuation with giant things around here two giant eyeballs giant monster and funny enough that giant monster looks like he only has one eyeball so who's the other eyeball for it will they even fit that's a square hole last i checked round balls don't go into square holes circles don't go into squares and squares don't go into circles that's not a euphemism for anything just saying that circles do not go into squares and squares do not go into circles it seems like simple logic to me we right up back to okay no this is not the top this is actually maybe that area that we couldn't gain access to before since that was kind of blocked yep right there that is we also got another coin sitting up here towards the top which i think will be like what our sixth or seventh one that gets us a new one four five yeah that is our sixth one right there nice and i think yeah it drops us right back down towards our main area right yes it does so let's go ahead and let's let's teleport back to town because we can teleport right back here anytime we want so let's go back to town and we need to is there like an underground what if i spawn here that's is that still gonna be above ground right it just seems weird that they also have the teleport function on like the underground like layer like view yeah okay no we're still above ground well i think i want to go get some medical upgrades and i think i also want to upgrade our kind of like our plasma pistol ability as well get, try to get a little bit more ammo for it so that's not it that's the sword ability there off to the left which is eh, it's whatever it's, it seems that you can kind of hold it for an additional strike which it's not necessarily all that appealing to me but this this is appealing to me yes please get this nice now we have full meds yeah one two three we can now have five with us oh and does it fill us up too no no we still only got our two it looked like it kind of filled us up but i suppose not it's fine yes i don't need that did you just bark at me i go hey it's already it's all coming right on back to us dogs <laughs> i knew it i knew dogs were gonna have play have a role in this game okay boy i need to upgrade i believe it is this one yeah it's two more shots but you know it's something it's extra we got it and you know i just remembered before we go back down wasn't there there was there's a path right here i i, I forgot about this uh huh excuse me what is going on here i'm playing soccer with a kid okay this is a this is a problem i need to, uh, that is his goal down there Look, he's trying to he's trying to goal keep yeah oh come on come on that was so in that was so in i'm gonna beat this child i uh, youtube don't take that out of context but i am going to beat this child oh, oh i can just move into it. i don't have to strike it oh oh he's expecting it i'm gonna go i'm gonna no, i'm gonna go up i'm gonna go i'm gonna go south i'll get a pass he can knock me down that's against the rules yeah, that's against the rules that's a foul that's a foul you can't do that no 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 yeah you stay there can i shoot i, I can i can't oh what, what? <laughs> that was a strong hit we need to beat this guy like 10 times hello one two three four five. i need to beat him 10 times in a row oh i don't know if we have time for that i i also i'm not very good at this i'm just gonna keep on being able to knock me down that should be against the rules i'm gonna i'm gonna smack this child oh okay well that is a thing it, those things can also explode which you know i i guess that's to be said that's normal come on get in there get in there there we go nice okay my turn my turn i just said that we don't have time to do this 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 episode and yet here i am okay no i give up i give up we can come revisit this at another time i was don't know what i was expecting but i was not expecting a soccer match in the middle of my hyperlight drifter gameplay <laughs> i that has got to be the one of the things that i i least expected to see around here um you know bravo i i think that's keeping it very innovative keeping it fresh keeping it like a little mini game that anyone can kind of play and have fun with yeah it's, it's cool it's great teleport on back down towards our south section oh boy i think we have enough cores can we continue on to the next area which should be right over here off to the right right or left no yeah right over here right yeah it's right <laughs> you know yeah yeah right right it's over here off, off to the right you know right um you following along oh um, no can't open that up yet what else are we missing we got one two three four we got all the cores but we have not gone off over there but we can kind of get around on this bottom side it looks like if we go down south and then travel all the way around up towards the right edge of the map we can kind of maybe get up and above we're gonna follow this around 
Oh, I didn't take myself a sip of water. You know, a better YouTuber might just edit this out. But you know what? I like to have... I like to keep it genuine. <laughs> That's what I'm going to put it as. I also like to do a little bit less work when I get home from work without having to do several hours of editing, cutting out every single weird noise that I make. God, that is refreshing. Nothing like some cold, cold, cold water. Like, water's flavor is essentially, it's like, it's temperature. Okay, so I... I need three more to open this door. And I don't know... This is going to be... Yeah, this is the confusing part, right? So, how do I get to the boss? I imagine I need to just follow another pathway but i can't open that up until i get three more of those cores meaning that there are three more cores in this entire area but we've gone down every single elevator we've like found most of the secrets we've opened up the extra areas we haven't really found anything extra that maybe we didn't have access to to open up anything besides that big key door but those key doors just appear to be something completely extra outside of our normal gameplay I mean, we did just unlock this northern section. Let's go ahead and explore this a little bit more. Does this kind of like lead somewhere else? Kind of like jump across? Maybe just go across anywhere else, like an extra path or... Oh, speak of the devil. This is an extra path. I'm up and above somewhere. There is another obelisk. Uh-huh. And it makes another ghost man appear with some more text on screen, which I have no idea what any of these mean. I am so... Lo oh off clicking off my screen i think i've done that once every single episode <laughs> I, I still have no idea what any of this stuff means i mean nothing is necessarily explained to me and nothing is necessarily like information given to me for me to follow so i don't really know what to do with any of that information being presented to me and as well i don't really know where to go from here but you know what digities I didn't even realize, but we've been recording for almost an entire hour. I have, I'm looking over my OBS, 58 minutes and 32 sec, 33 seconds. Hang, let me get ahead of it. And 36 seconds. Yeah, there we go. I got it. I, I got him good. But I, there is still so much more to explore. So, hey, if you guys know where to go from this point or what other, other secrets I may have passed along the way, then by all means, please leave a comment down below, like the video and all that fun stuff to let me know exactly what it is that I'm missing because there... Yeah, it definitely looks like I gotta get up here somehow, but I'm not gonna be able to do it via going through those doors. They definitely open up from the opposite side. But taking a look around, trying to get my camera to move around as much as I possibly can, I'm not really seeing like an elevator that goes to it per se. I mean, is there like a path around this right hand side that can kind of tell? No, not necessarily. Not seeing what's going on here. I guess we're just gonna have to keep on exploring around and try to find the boss in our own methods. But hey, again, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have played this before and maybe you can kind of enlighten me a little bit on all these questions. What do those obelisks mean? How, where do I find the green keys? And also, how do I get up to the final boss? I uh, am a little dumbfounded just taking a look at this map and terrain. I'm not exactly sure how one would even get over there. It's gotta be one of these elevators and paths that I've missed. So I'm going to have to maybe do a little bit of research, although I've said that I don't want to spoil anything for myself and like look anything up in particular. My best bet would be go down this elevator. Maybe there's an option going down from over here because it's the closest one to the boss location or at least the boss last kind of like plateau where we would go. Um, but with that being said, DigiDs, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the content. Thank you for supporting me as a creator and as a person. There are lots of new things. My career as a YouTuber is just starting. Even if I never make it big, I still have just as fun making content as I did from day one to even day now of a year and a half later, back on April 17th, whatever date. Ooh, 420 is coming up. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you, DigiDs. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I always ramble on for way too long. But there's one thing that I can always promise you that I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.